Welcome to Get Roaring. I am Rory. Fancy meeting you here. It's time for another Twitch replay of Stardew Valley. Join me as I do some farming. Let's see what happens. Goodness. Goodness. Do we have enough for our house? All right. Penny somewhere else. Oh, our beans are ready. Now here comes the thing. Um, we don't have enough hardwood. We have 94. What we can start doing is this this kind of stuff. <gasps> what? Look at this! Our potato juice is ready. I thought it'd make vodka. <laughs> Apparently, it's potato juice. <sighs> Whatever. We can make we'll probably make green bean juice too. You can do that. You can do vegetables in the uh, preserve jars as well. But I've always found jam to be pretty profitable. We got garlic. We got garlic. All right. Oh, uh, let's plant those potatoes, shall we? There we go. Potatoes. We can... We can try making bean juice. There we go. There's some uh, bean juice a-brewing. We'll sell our green beans. And sell our garlic. I'm gonna put some garlic in the fridge. Hi, Penny! I didn't see you. I like to do a little reading first thing in the morning. It gets my brain into gear. That explains the big library on the other side of the house. There you go. Good morning. Oh, I already have some garlic. Okay. That's good. The other, like, uh, base level ones we can just turn into seeds. There we go. Uh, let's return those there. Need some water. Other advantage of the beach farm, you don't have to build a well, but I don't really think that's a big deal. Because you can just go over to the side there and get water. I think this will be my last day today of streaming. Not my last day ever, but the last day within game. Because uh, I'd like to go get some lunch. So that's probably going to happen after this game. But I do appreciate you joining me. And uh, thank you for the new follows. It's funny how often that, that, that phrase comes up these days because COVID. I started my YouTube channel because COVID. I started streaming because COVID. You know. I don't know, like people do impressive things at the same time, right? Like people do amazing things by doing work and raising families, like uh, playing sports as well as school. You just, you're in the midst of it, you just do it, right? It's like when you look back on it, you're like, what the heck was I doing? Uh, oh, inventory full. Okay. I was like, why can't I get this milk? Don't, don't leave. There we go. Okay. I've heard that so many times from people who used to work either strenuous jobs or were like farmers or something like that, or even played sports. It's like they kept eating like they did when... They were an athlete or worked on a physical job, and then afterwards, like, they're like, how did I gain all this weight? Oh, well, I got a lot of eggs. Didn't even toast, it just went for it, eh? I gotcha. Let's give Penny a flower here. Hey, Penny! Thank you, this looks so special. Aw. Well, that's a nice compliment from a wife to a husband. 
I don't even know if my guy can grow facial hair. It hasn't happened. I guess technically I can if I... That is true. My character loves his wife in game, and I love my wife in real life. Mm -hmm. I guess we can sell this flower. What else can we do? We have... We have mayonnaise to make. And if we hang on to the milk for that. Oh! It's already like 5.30 in game? Goodness. Okay. Ooh. Since we have hardwood to collect... Ooh, I know what we can do. Since we have hardwood to collect, we can still make more money and get back to our 25k by the time a chicken statue. It's a statue of a chicken on a bronze base. The ancient people of this area must have had very must have been very fond of chickens. I am also very fond of chickens, usually fried. We I, we used to have a rabbit as a pet. Yeah, I I had I don't think I've ever eaten rabbit. Uh, like, like I said, my wife, uh, my wife had a rabbit as a pet when we got married and, uh, and he, he lived quite a long time. He lived till last year and, uh, then he, he just couldn't, he couldn't stand anymore. So we had to, we had to have him euthanized, unfortunately, but, uh, I've never eaten rabbit that I recall. Um, but people like it. So, you know. I eat other animals, so I can't say, like, hey, don't do that. Uh, let's sell that. What else we got here? Then we can sell the mushroom. We still have some milk. Let's make some more cheese. Then we're gonna go... We're gonna go to the community center. Actually, we have a lot of those eggs. Uh, let's do this. A little bit more mayo there. For cash purposes. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a computer programmer. I work for a software company and, and do uh, like products and customization, things like that. So that's my... That's my day job. This I just do for a hobby. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much a, a nerd through and through. I, I see. I'm sure there's stuff on the like. I I don't worry about. I wouldn't worry about that as a tech person. I know some people who are tech people look at people who don't have tech skills and go, oh my gosh, why don't... But I realized a long time ago when I worked uh, for... It was a company that sold plumbing fixtures like faucets and showers and stuff like that. And uh, I worked in their IT department and I did support, right? And so I would have to help other people in the facility, in the, in the plant uh, that were manufacturing, that were packaging as well as people in financial procurement, like all the other departments, I'd have to go and do their technical support in addition to the programming because I was a junior. And I realized really quickly that though the people, like let's say in finance, didn't know about computers, like they had issues with all sorts of things that for techie people is very basic. Once I got talking to them about finance stuff, <laughs> like they could run circles around me all day long. So I knew the tech stuff, or at least somewhat, but they knew the financial stuff and they knew it so well. So everybody is, everybody has their smarts and their experience and their tech, their skills. And it's not necessarily tech and whatever. Like I, I'm not handy around the house. Like in terms of like, I wouldn't try and fix my shower or something. I call a plumber because when I live in a condominium, so if water goes everywhere, you're liable for it and it could damage other people's places and all that. But also I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so
So I talked to somebody who does know what they're doing and I asked them questions and all that stuff. So because people know one thing over here, like, oh, I, I know tech stuff. They may not know it over here, but somebody else is just, is just as smart in that as you are in this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember doing many a project with my father uh, when growing up and and... There were there were many trips to the hardware store to get the right parts to get the right things and so on and so forth. Um, <laughs> so it's like if it's not your thing, you know. <laughs> the old duct tape approach, basically. All right, we turned in the twenty five grand. Well, hey, if it's still standing, something worked, right? Something worked. We turned in the twenty five grand. Uh, oh, we got one of those crystal crystallariums. Oh, sweet. So you insert a gem of your choice and it will grow copies. Oh, you know what's going in there? Diamonds. Oh my goodness, there's stuff everywhere. Those things are so happy. And by the way, since we completed the vault, we paid the 25 grand. The bus is now active. So the bus works. So we can go, we can go out of town. Fancy. I'm going to stop carrying this crystallarium around. Look at that room! It's so nice! That vault is huge, man. That's like all the town funds. I don't know what's going on. So cool. Look at this! Look at this! Look! Boom! Look at that guy so happy! He's following me around. That's cool. Three stars. We've got we're halfway there for the community center. Very good. Very good. Oh, there was a quest. Oh, we'll see if we can still grab it. I'm looking for someone to bring me 35 copper ores to aid in understanding of local minerals. It's just the ores, right? The, not the bars. Oh, okay, good. 380 on delivery, and you can keep the the bars afterwards, and Clint will be happy. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Well, not if, if I if I do continue with this, then we'll then we'll we'll do it the next day. But uh, I really wanted to finish. I've wanted to finish the the obviously do the wedding today, and then play a little extra. But uh, I mean. If you folks are interested, I can continue on another day. I, I can't guarantee it'll be like right soon because like I've been playing Hard Space Shipbreaker. I've been playing uh, I've been playing Steam World Heist. Uh, I've also been playing the Amazing American Circus. So I've been rotating between those those three. Uh, so if if folks are interested, I can I can do this again probably when I have uh, you know extensive period of time. I'm on vacation next. week. Next, the end of next week and the week after that so i might have the opportunity to do some more during the day for the for me kind of this time but you know during the week and whatnot but uh yeah also um i can i can link my youtube or at least you know what i'll do i think no my channel has uh the youtube uh twitter all that stuff uh, i think my youtube videos also have my discord which is not super active, but obviously it needs people to do that. But that's always a good place to talk to me if you want to talk to me about this, about other games, about anything, about couches, life, food. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, it, it'd be good to hear from you. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate every minute you've spent with me, and I appreciate the follows, that's for sure. Look at the bus! Oh my gosh! I don't know what they're doing. They're like repairing it by shooting stars and swirly things at it. I don't know if that's, I don't know how that works. All right, let's see how we did with the, uh, we got six grand out of that. Potato juice was okay. It took so long and it gave like a thousand bucks. I don't know. Those barrels are good for like, yeah, magic bus repair. I don't know if potato juice is the good, the best use for those kegs, but here we are. Uh, the garlic was okay. 99 a piece. The seeds are probably pretty cheap, so if you're getting 99 a piece on the gold ones, 66 for the green beans. I mean, the cheese just the cheese just blows everything away. 
Alrighty then. Well, that'll be it for now, I think. I'm going to go get some food again. I appreciate you joining me. Thanks for your every minute you spend with me. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever it is where you live. But uh, I'll see you next time. Have yourself a good one, folks.